Steve, a late winner at the end to overcome Pontypridd United. What was it like being on the touchline for that one? Yeah, it wasn't enjoyable from my point of view. I think for the first 30 minutes, I thought we were in our rhythm a little bit. We were starting to play some good football, create a lot of chances, and then for whatever reason, come the 30th minute, we started to let the opposition back into the game, and you know we we just sort of went away from what we're good at. Um, obviously, you know we've said it a lot over the last few few uh, games that we've had to show a lot of character and you know you've got to take your hat off to the girls for digging in and, and finding a way to win today and while you might have been disappointed with patches of the game to come away with three points against Pontypridd United who despite their league position have clearly shown that they can mix it in with some of the best teams in the league in recent weeks you must be delighted just to get over the line and, and get those three points because that's what's going to be on the table at the end of the day yeah we, we said uh, you know once we knew that we were going to secure top four that we weren't going to rest on our laurels, and it was important to pick up as many points as we can. You know, you've got to give Ponty a lot, of, a lot of credit. You know, the last few games have been fantastic, and you know, narrow defeats. Um, you know, I think if they can play like that every week, they, they stand a good chance of, of obviously picking off a lot of points uh, in, in in phase two. So, really important for us now to sort of move forward. We've got another game next week before we complete phase one, and I think we've just got to get back to playing a, a little bit better than what we have done today. You previously mentioned the importance of getting those results in front of the fans. Just how nice has it been to have a few run, runs of games in front of our home supporters to just push us on in those last few minutes? Yeah, it's big. And obviously, when when we got the equaliser, you know, there was a massive, massive lift from the crowd, which obviously spurred the girls on to go and find a find a third goal and ultimately the winner. So you know, it's great to play in front of the home fans, um, you know, and it's great to to see them come out, come out and support the girls. And it's important. It's going to be important going into the the second half of the season as well and just finally to touch on Cardiff Met obviously Swansea have dropped points today just how much of a motivating factor is that for you and the group knowing full well that you can go to Cardiff you can have Cardiff Met come down to the Rock to here next weekend and potentially get a second spot before the split yeah I think that that's that's amazing you know that's you know probably a lot of people wouldn't have expected us to to compete and, and do as well as what we have done this season and you know that the fact that we can put a little bit of pressure on and you know, it's nice that it's a home game as well. Um, we could end up finishing uh, the end of phase one in second position, which is which is fantastic. And hopefully that gives us a lot of motivation then to to try and kick on in the in the split then and and, and get as high up the table as we can. Cheers, Steve. Thank you. Cheers.